Welcome everybody to another edition of the Hurry Up. I'm your boy Adam. Let's get into this. Brian Dable is here, folks. Um, you know my take. It was between Brian Dable and, and, and Flores. I wanted Flores, but hey, you know what? Let's let more power to the Dable posse and the Dable Mafia. Um, hopefully he comes in and, and gets a solid coaching staff around him. There's rumors about Wink Martindale, Patrick Graham. They're working on Ken Dorsey right now. And the other rumor is they really want to help Daniel Jones. Look, you know how you help Daniel Jones? Offensive line, right? Let's get a legitimate evaluation of this guy. You know, a lot of you know that I wasn't a big fan of him this year. There was things about him coming out that I really liked. I really did. I liked his height, his size, his weight. I thought he could throw the deep ball. Many people th didn't think he could throw the deep ball. I was like, what film are you watching? Because in the film that I saw, he was throwing the ball 40 yards downfield. Does he have a rocket for an arm? Does he have a Josh Allen arm, Joe Burrow arm? No, but can he make every throw in the, in the NFL? Yes, and that's essentially what you want in the quarterback, be able to make every throw. So if Brian Dable comes in here, you know, I'm excited. There's there's many reasons to be excited, Giants fans. One, for the first time, you're you're uh, having a GM and coach come in at the same time. Remember, Ernie Acorsi hired, you know, Tom Coughlin. A few years later, Acorsi, you know, retired, and then Jerry Reese came in, and then you know, we had the Tom Coughlin era go. He got fired, and then of course, Jerry Reese hired McAdoo got fired, those two got fired, then Gettleman comes in. You know you know where we got to get to this point. I like that it's two outside eyes, two guys from organizations who have you know built a winner, two guys from from organizations across the NFL. It's not like they've been with one team and that's all they know. You know, Joe Shane was with Bill Parcells in Miami. He was a scout and uh you know he worked his way up in Carolina then he worked his way up in Miami, and of course in Buffalo when Brandon Bean went, you know, they, as they crossed paths, he was brought over there and did a lot of the grunt work for Brandon Bean to help build that that franchise. Dable has a myriad of 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 uh, teams he's been with, from Alabama as their OC to the Patriots being a defensive assistant to not only being you know having all the accolades on the offensive side with the Patriots, and then of course being the OC recently with the Buffalo Bills. One thing I want to let people know is don't expect the translation to be the transition to be that easy in terms of player movement. Remember, this team is not the Bills. Um, they they don't have a squad. I'm not saying the Giants aren't talented. Giants have talent. Remember, they spent 200 million dollars on it. Now they're going to lose about 18 guys in free agency. They're only going to sign, let's say, probably four max out of the 18 that are leaving. Um, and, and it brings up a, a lot of good things. Who are you going to bring back from this free agency class? What visions are Brian Dable and Joe Shane going to have? It's going to be exciting to uh, unwrap what's going on. I like some of the things that uh, you know I've heard for, about Brian Dable. I know people are going to say, well, Adam, you want a Flores. Well, yeah, I want a Flores. But, you know, I'm not picking the team. I'm not the GM. You know, these are my, those are my thoughts. Thoughts were, for me, if I was John Mara, I'd be kind of banging the table for Flores. But, hey, you know what? He's letting Joe Shane do it. Joe Shane trusts Brian Dable. He's been with Dable for about four years now. He's seen his vision. He's seen how he's coached. And and let's see what he can do. I, I, there are rumors that Ken Dorsey is coming along uh, with Dable. There are, that's not yet set in stone. They're negotiating, which, you know, uh, if I were the Giants, I would just make him assistant head coach and call it a day. That way, you know, that way that's even a higher promotion than OC because remember Buffalo can make him as OC too. So, you know, for me, I would just say, hey, you want to be this assistant head coach? Bang. But you may want to not want to put that label on a guy right quick who is already just a QB's coach. So we'll see what happens. They're really investing heavily in Daniel Jones, good or bad or otherwise. Like I said, Daniel, I liked at the beginning. This year, he left a lot, a lot on the table for me. So let's see what he can do. I mean, I think it's physically. I think he's got all the tools. I think here is where you're going to need to overcome some hurdles because. When the offensive line does break down, hey, there are going to be breakdowns. There are going to be a lot of young guys, a lot of moving parts in this offensive line. Um, I think, was it who, who was I listening to today that said, I think it was um, Kavika Mitchell. Uh, I was listening to a podcast that he was on it, and he said the offensive line for the Giants in 07 had already built a long history of being together, working together. So I know the Giants are going to bring an offensive line. I know there's been a lot of, going to be a lot of turnover. There's only basically maybe one, maybe two guys who are going to be here who have any continuity with each other. 
it's going to be a whole thing. It's going to be a lot of a lot of learning, a lot of moving parts, and let's hope that they can get it right early on because the the line needs to build, you know, chemistry. The quarterback needs to build chemistry with those lines, and then when you've got that chemistry, how does Barkley perform? Um, when you're handing him the, off the ball and what's going to happen when Daniel Jones, when a guy does miss a block. Because if you have a couple of rookies starting and a, and a couple of free agent guys starting who ha- are not familiar with this offense, there's going to be some breakdowns, you know, along the line. It happens to the best offensive lines, you know. There's times where, you know, you 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 fall down, someone steps in your foot, things, things happen. It's a violent game. So let's hope that they can figure something out and be adequate, average, average next year. I don't need them to be road graders. They need them to be average. If they're average this year and keep Daniel Jones somewhat upright, and let's say they give up like 30 sacks, maybe less, 20-something sacks, 25 sacks, and Daniel Jones still struggles, then we'll know if he's the guy or not. Now, the other thing is, is that I'm tempering my expectations. There's a lot of people out there who are you know, goo-goo-ga-ga over this regime and, oh, we're going in the right direction, blah, blah, blah. Listen. I've I've taken that bait before. I've taken that bait before where, I, you know, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be the guy. And two or three years later, it's not the guy. So before we really do that, I'm excited. Listen, it's a new era of giant football. I'm very excited for where this is going. I'm very excited for the direction of Joe Shane. Not so excited about the Daniel Jones things. I can live with it. You know, hopefully he proves me wrong. You know, hopefully he proves what I believed in him in his rookie season, what I saw coming out, hopefully he proves that right. Because a lot right now he's proving is the guys who broke his film down that he has a few tendencies that he needs to clean up. So he's cleaned up the turnovers. Let's hope that, you know, Dable says, okay, let it loose, kid, and he doesn't fumble or anything like that. So, listen, Daniel Jones is going to be the guy. I'm going to back him because he's on my team. Um, but oh, hopefully he proves me wrong and good. I hope he's. I hope I'm wrong. I I want because if I'm wrong, it's great for Daniel Jones. It means the team is doing well. It means the Giants are doing well, and it means the team's heading in the right direction. If we if I'm right and 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 he stinks, well we're back to square one and and the rebuild is only partially there, right? So we'll see what happens. This draft this off season is going to be so intriguing. You know we 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 don't know we know the direction. We'll find out probably. Uh, after we dig ourselves out here in the Northeast after the blizzard, we'll find our, out when he is at the press conference what kind of guy he is. Again, don't care if he wins the press conference. I care about him winning football games. You know, my expectations are give me six to eight wins. You know, I know that's that may be a lot, but, you know, it, you know, and, and if you give me six, at least look like you're heading in the right direction. Right? Give me some exciting plays. Give me... Give me something that I'm not sitting there bored halfway through the game because I know that the offense is not going to do anything. Please don't call any QB sneaks on third and nine. Please don't call any QB sneaks on third and nine. You know, um, so let's see what happens. I'm excited to see where the offense goes. Let's see who brings in as a coaching staff. That's key, too. Remember, Judge brought in like 27 guys from across the United States to be the coach. So we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to enjoy this right now. I'm going to enjoy this giant nation. Um, and, and let's see as the pieces fall into place what happens. Because if they bring in a Wink Martindale, your whole defense is, is going to change. You're going to get a bit of an identity. You're going to pull Ravens guys. You're going to pull um, uh, other players from that that new and familiar with that defense. You're going to keep guys. I mean, Leonard Williams, I hope he flourishes in this defense. You know, hopefully they move Dexter Lawrence to the nose tackle. You know, um, I hope they... You know, um, they bring in a middle linebacker like Devin Lloyd to kind of be the point man of this defense going forward. I, there are so many things that are being excited. The Giants have done it the right way. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This has been another edition of the Hurry Up. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's go. Big Blue. New era of football. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it.